No other being in the universe has the ability to connect you with God. No other being. Any sense, Adrian? Uh, can't a person be a conductor for God's love? Um, no. <laughs> You can reflect the love of God that's in your soul to another person, mm -hmm. but you can't be a conductor for God's love. There is only one conductor for God's love, and that is this, this conductor that God created, the Holy Spirit. Very, now, I know all of you have been told differently than that. All right? But I'm saying to you that every single one of you cannot give somebody else divine love. You must, you can receive it for yourself and you can help another person receive it for themselves. But you cannot give it to them from you. Do you follow me? There's a big difference between those two states. You can assist a person, this soul, let's say this soul is a person you're giving the blessing to. You can assist this soul to open up emotionally and open up with their desires and passions and everything by giving them love from a spirit or your own love, which would cause them to open up their soul towards God, which then causes them to actually connect with God and long for God's love. You can do that. And that, that might happen even at the time of giving the blessing. That'll, many times that will happen at the moment you're giving the blessing. So at the very moment you're giving the blessing, because the person who's receiving the blessing is receiving this intense amount of love from a spirit, and we'll talk about what love they're actually receiving in a minute, they're receiving this intense amount of love through you from a spirit, that will open up their soul, and in some cases, and this is why it happens with some people and not other people, in some cases what will happen is their soul will open up so much that they, want a, they feel a desire in their heart for this connection with God, and all of a sudden, God's divine love flows into them. And when God's love, divine love, flows into them, they will have quite amazing experience with that, generally. And that's why some have an amazing experience and some have no experience at all. Do you follow me? Because some are not open emotionally inside and even giving them love from another person doesn't trigger them to open themselves inside enough for God's divine love to flow into their soul. It's very important to understand that God wants this personal contact with you and God wants this personal contact with the person you're giving the blessing to. All right? He doesn't go through you to give his love to the person you're giving the blessing to. But your love for the person and the spirit who's with you giving the blessing through you, his love for the person, can open their soul enough for them to long for God's divine love to flow through them. So that's the mechanism that's actually occurring. Right? And we'll describe, I'll describe in more detail the mechanism that's actually occurring at you know, and the spirit level and the soul level as we go on. But it's very important to understand that God wants to give each individual soul his love and no other being in the universe can give God's love to another being. Only God can give God's love to another being. Now, when you think about it, it also makes sense of your own love. The only person that you can give your love to another person is you. you. Do you understand that? No one else, I can't give your love to somebody, it can't flow through me. Remember, love is an emotion, therefore it's energy in motion. How can the energy, the energy has to, it would first flow to me, but then if I'm giving you the love, when I've received your love, me and I'm saying I'm giving you her love, what's actually going on is that your love is affecting me, my energy raises, and so now when I give that love to you, you can feel my more intense energy being given to you. Does that make sense? Yeah, because it's transformed. And it's actually my love, he, her love being transformed through me, I'm now feeling more love, and as a result of feeling more love, I can now give more love to you, and then you feel that love. You follow me? So that's the actual thing that's going on in the terms of our transactions when I'm trying to refer love to somebody else. And this is exactly the same thing what happens with the spirit. And I'll talk about the oneness blessing itself and what's actually happening with the